The fires that recently swept across large parts of Indonesia's natural landscapes may have been doused for now, but experts warn the fires will likely return in as little as two months unless major changes are made to how the land is used. The causes of the fires are extremely complex, so solutions must involve people from all areas, from the highest government levels to big business and villagers living off the land. Scientists from the Center for International Forestry Research, C4, are looking at the causes and how the underlying politics and the economy play a role. The focus of the three-year study is in Riau on the island of Sumatra, the source of the toxic haze that spread to neighboring countries. That's where a recent workshop was held with local government and community members to discuss solutions. In first year, so um, there are several findings on the uh, biophysical, social and political economy that we need to communicate in order also to get some inputs what to do for the next two years. Harry Pernomo says it's vital that both the government and the private sector understand the political economy behind the fire in Haines. Yeah, we uh, uh, collected the data from NASA for 15 years actually for the whole Kalimantan and Sumatra. And we found that uh, a year before election, in those years since uh, 2000, 2015, the fire is very high, just uh, one year before election. So we uh, wonder if there is a uh, land politic uh, to attract people to food. Where the fires burned and who owns the land is another part of the team's research. This included a detailed analysis of the 2013 fires with a combination of drones and satellites, we find that, yes, over half of burning is on idle land, but we also find that 30, about 35% of burning, so more than a third, has actually burned productive plantations of oil palm and acacia. So if you translate this to, uh, 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 to per hectare, it means that for each hectare of idle land, which is being burned, uh, which is being cleaned by burning in preparation for, of, of planting, there's more than half a hectare of productive plantation that is also burning. David Gaveau says this data shows that this expansion of mainly oil palm is not sustainable. Another aspect of the research is looking at what local community members and regional and national government officials see as a solution and uncovering gaps between them. We show that there is no consensus between stakeholders on a, a way forward. So there is no strong solution which comes through on which there's agreement between all. Finding that consensus and making sure that all those affected understand the consequences of the continuing business as usual is key. Membangun sistem governance yang itu transparan dan transparan terbuka kemudian apa namanya akuntabel bisa dipertanggungjawabkan dan juga memberikan peran bagaimana kelompok-kelompok akademis, ilmuwan, masyarakat sipil itu bisa memberikan warna bagi pengambilan kebijakan di level governance di pemerintahan. Decisions that include restoring peatlands that have been drained via canals so oil palm can be planted. These areas catch fire easily and prevention of fires is the only way to stop further destruction. Maka pola-pola yang harus dilakukan pertama kita meningkatkan upaya-upaya model secara struktur terstruktur ya secara struktural itu seperti pembangunan kanal-kanal blocking ya kemudian juga peningkatan masyarakat-masyarakat relawan peduli api dan kita ingin bahwa setiap desa yang ada di Riau itu melakukan upaya-upaya pencegahan semaksimal mungkin the research team is also training local community members so they do not have to rely on old-fashioned slash-and-burn methods. We need to provide a significant livelihood for the uh, local community in order for them not to use our fire as a tool for agriculture development. Otherwise, it's, it's nothing if people continue using fire if you only provide a non-significant livelihood. 
Peri Pernomo says community firefighters also need more support so they can protect the land. This includes protected areas like the Conservation Center in Rio, where firefighters use elephants to patrol remote areas and help prevent further blazes. It's clear from the research that small grassroots initiatives are needed in the short term. But to put a stop to the fire in haze once and for all, major changes at all levels is needed before Indonesia can truly breathe easy.